Amen. Hallelujah. One day we shall wing our way home to glory. And I can feel the footsteps of Jesus is coming. It's just by the door. One day we will wing our way to heaven and we shall bid this earth farewell, farewell, farewell as we are winging our way to heaven. One day we are going to bid farewell to the coronavirus. One day we are going to bid farewell to tuberculosis. Yes, one day we are going to do that. I just get excited as I think about that, but that's not my topic for today. Matthew, the 13th chapter, verse number 16 through, two, through 17. Uh, but blessed are your eyes, for they see and your ears, for they hear. For verily I say unto you, that many prophets and righteous men uh, desired to see those things which you see, uh, but never saw them, and to hear those things which you hear, uh, but never heard them. Shall we pause for a moment of prayer? Loving Father, thank you for this blessed assurance. Uh, what is trending today is disheartening, it's heartbreaking, it's tearing our hearts apart and stealing our joy and causing shivers and goosebumps. Uh, but I have a blessed assurance because what is trending today cannot shake me, but it solid, solidifies me and tells me that I am closer home. And now, Lord, as we turn your holy word, we pray that you may lead us by your grace in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I have with me a book, and this book is called the Bible. This is the inspired the living word of God, which breaks the marrow and separates the sinner from the sin. This is the sword of the spirit that I will lift when I get there by the graveside. This is the word of God, and I am so pleased uh, that I'm going to lift this word today. It is our show guide, and it is the one that is going to lead us in the paths of righteousness. And it is the only book uh, that the Lord has given us that tells us uh, that the village lady breaks new ground. Our subject for this evening is entitled the village lady breaks new ground. That is where we are focusing our attention. Let me just take you to a small a village. Yes, the mob drew closely by the chatter of the little boys uh, as they shouted, there he is. We have caught a glimpse of him, rose together with the dust of the mob. Some had seen him for the first time. Such a gentle man he was, loving, caring, kind, and tender-hearted. Wherever he was, there was an aura of peace. His lips uttered words of wisdom uh, to the learned, yes, unforgettable, unforgettable object lessons to the little ones. Uh, the, the, the DDs, uh, the DEDs, the LLDs, the PhDs listened to him while the ECDs also sat on his, on his lap. Uh, though welcoming he was, there was one woman in some little corner who thought she can't be close to him uh, through, uh, though her poverty had caused her to collapse into nothingness, her malady caused her, pushed him to disregard the tag that was placed upon her by the society. Hers was an experience of doom. In every doctor's room, she left with a face filled with gloom. 
according to the law, she was unclean. Besides, she was a woman, the least important in the societal ranks. Her illness was a public disgrace and her pain she could not erase. Now, today was the day she was going to break new ground and begin trending in the village. She was determined to do something new with the little pint of energy uh, that was in her anemic body. She made her way. She wondered whether she should talk to him and tell her, tell him her problem. Uh, but, but how on earth, but how on earth, but how, but how on earth uh, could she do such a thing that would humiliate her and reduce her to nothingness? How many of you know uh, that there are some prayer requests uh, that you cannot share in public? Uh, they need a little talk with Jesus. Maybe it's the pornography uh, that you are hooked in. It needs a little talk with Jesus. You can't share it in public. Uh, maybe it's the masturbation that makes you feel unclean after each episode. It needs a little talk with Jesus. Yes, you can't share it in public. Uh, the, maybe it's the condomizing uh, that you do after each song service that you beautifully a chorister in. Uh, it needs a little talk with Jesus. You can't share it in public. Maybe it's the nude pictures. You float around with every new boyfriend that you have. Uh, it needs a little talk with Jesus. Uh, you can't share it in public. Uh, the ladies that you flirt are with and you forget what what you said and even forget about them. Yes, sir, they need a little talk with Jesus. You can share them in public. Maybe it's those sips, little sips of alcohol. Um, they need a little talk with Jesus. You can share them in public. Uh, those drugs that you've started using, they need a little talk with Jesus. You can share them in public. You know those things uh, that worry you and bother you uh, that can't be shared in public. Uh, this woman thought to herself, if I tell him, everybody else will hear it. Uh, yes, these things have caused you to feel worthless. Yes, these things have caused you to feel godless and hopeless and homeless, unclean, irredeemable. Uh, let me call this woman to the stage and let her share her story. If she was here, she was going to say, at that time, I spoke within myself, Matthew 9, verse number 21. I said, if I may touch, if I may touch his garment, I shall be made whole. I don't need uh, 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 to wash my dirty linen in public. I just need to break new ground by touching the hem of his garment. Yes, Mark says, she said, if I may touch his clothes. And Matthew says, if I may touch his garment, I shall be whole. Then Luke paints the picture very well. What was in her intention is to touch the clothes. But what happened is that she touched the border of his garment and immediately, and immediately the issue of blood stopped and Jesus turned and said, who is this woman who has broken new ground? Somebody touched me. Who is this that has touched me? Uh, Peter says, Are you, have you gone crazy? Everybody has been pressing around you. Uh, but, 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 but Jesus says, the touch 
the touch is new. It's new. I have never felt this kind of touch. This is a touch of faith. Uh, the woman, afraid, uh, then said, uh, it is me, Lord. It is me, Lord. The Bible tells me uh, that at that time in Luke chapter 8, verse number 44, uh, going downwards, the good book says, um, but she said, somebody touched me, for I perceived the power going out of me. Now, when the woman saw that she was not hidden, she came trembling, falling down before him. She declared in the presence of the people. She said in the presence of the people, uh, in the presence of the people, the reason she touched him, how she was healed immediately. Initially, she couldn't talk about it, but now she has been healed. She can speak about it. Uh, now she hates uh, the things that she used to love. Now she can talk about it because uh, redeemed uh, by the blood of the lamb, redeemed through his infinite mercy, his child, forever she is. Now she can talk about it uh, before she couldn't share it, uh, but now she can share it uh, because something has happened. Her life has been changed. She has broken new ground. She can share it. When you come to Jesus, you can talk about it. Uh, now you can share it. I used to drink, but the blood of Jesus has purified me. Now I can no longer drink. I used to steal, but the blood of Jesus has purified me. I don't know. I no longer know how to steal. I used to humanize. Uh, yes, sir. the blood of Jesus has purified me mean I can no longer humanize. I used to tell lies, but the blood of Jesus, you can talk about it when Jesus has redeemed you, when you have broken new, new ground. The village lady broke new ground. I imagine the Jerusalem times the newspaper of that time having her story the editor writes the village lady has broken new ground she has broken new ground and she has done something that is amazing this can be your testimony I don't know what your issue of blood is break new ground and trend in heaven's Jerusalem times have you lost hope and feel discouraged, touch the hem of his garment and break new ground and trend in Jerusalem times. Yes, have you been regarded as a nobody because of your past? Uh, break new ground and trend in heaven's Jerusalem times. Have you a heart that's weary, tending a lot of care, a lot of care? Uh, break new ground and trend in Jerusalem times. Have you failed in your relationship or you have been dumped? A break new ground and trend in Jerusalem times. Is your heart, is your story heart wrenching? Uh, one that you cannot cope with the negative trending of your story. A break new ground and trend in Jerusalem times. Do you feel, do you feel like now it's time? to throw in the towel uh, because you've had enough. Maybe you think I should pick the rope and kill myself, uh, break new ground and trend in Jerusalem times. Do you feel insignificant, useless and godless? Uh, break, break new ground and trend in Jerusalem times. Yes, the last time I checked, even if you are insignificant, small wings can also fly, break new ground and trend in Jerusalem times. Uh, the Bible tells me that she came behind him and touched the border of his garment and immediately her issue of blood stenched. It stopped right there and she broke new ground and she was trending in Jerusalem times. You can you can. 
I can. This can be your portion. It can be my portion. Believe in him, for he is believable. Depend upon him, for he is dependable. Rely upon him, he is reliable. When your hope is crushed and all is gone, I offer you Jesus, who is the answer to everything. I want to pray with somebody who says, I want to break new ground and trend in heaven's Jerusalem times. If that's your heart's desire, wherever you are, I am praying with you. Loving Father, we are broken, wounded, discouraged, hopeless, and even godless. Our stories are terrible and horrible. We can't share them in public, but we know that when we come behind you and touch the hem of your garment, we are going to trend in Jerusalem times. Everybody will know, redeemed, how I love to proclaim it, redeemed through his infinite mercy, his child forever I am. Bless us, Lord, and keep us with your grace. In Jesus' name, amen, amen.